Hello boys and girls, we're doing our second read today of A Cupcake Party. This is in your Journeys student textbook. And this is Unit 2 student textbook. And yesterday we read this and we decided that it was a fantasy. Fantasy means it's make-believe, it's baloney. The characters are not real. And what happens in the story is not real. It's a fantasy. And we remember that he had a problem. And he, the problem was that he missed his friends. That was his problem. And so his solution for the problem was that he decided to have a party for them. So the, the words that we're going to be um, practicing right now so we can better read the story are our story words and our sight words. And the sight words are yellow in your textbook. But right now, we're, we're going to work on the story words. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. So, story words for a cupcake party are baked. So when you cook something in an oven, you bake it. Do you remember when he did that? Let me show you the picture. I think that will interest you. There he is. He's putting these cupcakes in the oven to bake. So when you see that word, it says baked. And that, so he lives in a tree. That's the setting. The tree is a, like a wooden plant and it has a trunk and some branches. The other word you'll have to know is party. So whenever people, or in this case, animals, get together to have some fun or celebrate something. It's a party. Remember this from yesterday? They're celebrating the boy's birthday party. Party. And our final story word is cupcake. So in the story, you know what cupcakes are. They're like small round cakes that you bake in like these little cup-shaped containers. That's a cupcake. Let me see if there's a better picture. Oh, th that's a better picture of cupcakes. Okay, hope you can read all of those words. Baked, tree, party, and cupcakes. And these we're just going to review small, small. One. Can I have one of your cupcakes? Can you give me one of your cupcakes? Give. Take. Yes, you can take one. Eat. Eat your cupcakes. Put. He put pictures of their faces on the cupcakes. So let's read all of our words. Small, one, give, take, eat, put, and now our story words, baked, tree, Party, cup, cake. All right, there's your practice. Okay, let's do our second read. And to save time, you can just read it with me, okay? <sighs> this is our last story in our Unit 2 student book. A cupcake party. And remember, it's by David McPhail, who couldn't play baseball. He couldn't play guitar, but he could draw. It says, and you guys put your fingers on top of mine and try to read the words with me. I miss my friends, Fritz said. I must have a big party. Um, Fritz had a list of friends to ask to his party. 
Um, I'm going to have to keep on reading, even though there's interference in the back. Fritz went to ask Kit. I will come, Kit said. It will be grand. Fritz went to ask Jack next. Jack said yes. A party is fun, Jack said. Okay, I have to go turn this off. Just a second, boys and girls. Okay. Fritz met Fran and Stan at a tree stump. Fran and Stan said yes, too. Fritz went to ask Glenn last. I will not miss it, Glenn said. Fritz baked cupcakes to give to his friends. He put a small picture on every one. Fritz felt glad to see his friends. Look at how happy he is. Take the cupcake with a picture of you on it, Fritz said. His friends had a snack for Fritz, too. There's his acorn snack. Yum! Now we can eat and have fun, Fritz said. And that was the end of your story. So let's see if you can remember who the characters are. Who is this? Fritz, Kit, Stan, these are all the characters, Jack, Glenn, and, oh, you can't see the top of Fran's head, and Fran. So those are the characters, remember, the characters, they're the people or animals in the story. And we had animals in this story. And where was the setting? The setting is the time and place that the story occurs. And the setting of this one was inside of a tree house, a literal tree house. It was inside of the tree, a tree house. And there was a brief time when he went outside And he invited them, but most of it happened in the treehouse. Okay, boys and girls, that's all for today. We'll do our third read tomorrow. Oh, there's, some, there's something on the screen that looks a little...